Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, I finally decided it was time for a sine wave inverter, so it came today. 2000 water. And I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and this is the one I decided on because everybody seemed to like it pretty well, and the price was reasonable. And it was in, of course it's made in China, but it, it was in the United States, so it only took like a week to get here. So, two months. So we'll see what we got. Okay, I'm not using my wireless mic because I discovered it was only working on one channel, so I got to resolve that. So, okay, so these are the uh, looks like about 18 inch double cables. Um, I don't think they would be good for 2000 watts. I don't know. I don't recognize it's Chinese or something, so. It is copper, though. I heard some of them were aluminum. So we got some fuses, and it looks like we got, must be a thing for ground, maybe, plug. And some little uh, rubber grommets for, must be the mountain feet, maybe. And this is a remote control. Looks like they got her packed pretty well. Give it the no loose parts, that's good. This is what we got in the front AC output voltage, DC input voltage, hardware connections, one AC plug, on and off, place for the remote to plug in, power indicator, and alarm indicator. On the back, we've got some pretty nice looking looks. And two fans. Nice aluminum case. Alright, so. I'm going to give her a quick try out here with just, the, just my power supply. Um, because, well, it's... It's late. It's uh, 20 minutes to 8 <laughs> at night. <laughs> so, let's see. There's the minus. Oh, better make sure I'm 12 volts here. Okay, there's 12.8. So, this is going to spark, I would assume. Yep. There we go. Oh, it was on. <laughs> Guess I should have looked at the power switch, huh? 122 volts, 12.6 amps. Or volts, duh. Okay. So, I got my uh, antique saw scalp here hooked up. Hopefully I'll be able to 
see it. Let's see. Fire her up here. There she's coming. And I got a test rig hooked up there. Just gonna plug this in the outlet and see what she looks like. Yeah, the scope kind of is kind of strange, as you can tell, but it is the same way. All right, so. I won't be able to hook her up for a few days because we have some other plans, so <clears throat> I wanted to make sure it was going to work. Kind of excited to get a look at it. Thought I'd give you guys a peek. Turn it off. I'm going to try this remote. Okay, so. Okay, so the alarm is on until the voltage gets up to normal. So I got a 15 watt bulb hooked up. And the inverter run in my power supply says uh, 1.6 amps at 12.6 volts. If I unplug this, oh, good tight outlet. It's saying about 0.6 amps for idle. I guess that isn't too shabby. So, Liking it so far. And just trying to say, I bet you the I bet you the top will come off if I take four screws out. And I'm going to take a look just because. I mean, I know it works. Glad of that. But I want to make sure that all components are attached. <laughs> um, although everybody said these have been good, but I've seen a lot of the ones where they get them and there's parts that aren't soldered properly or capacitors are bent over and, and stuff like that. I just want to take a look and and see. So It'll take a minute and if if it's just these four screws on the in the top left side, so I'm not gonna get into a, tearing a lot of stuff apart here because being brand new, we don't want to molest it. Like the top's coming off. Yep. All right, I don't know. That's the brand, I guess, CNSWI Power.
Okay, here's what we got inside. Got three pretty husky looking transformers there. And this inductor. Wow, that's fastened right down nice. Gives are all pushed in good, I guess. That's pretty. Pretty good. Leave it alone. It works. <laughs> it looks like we got looks like that must be for the fans. And there's another something on this heat sink that's on there with some goo too so might be some kind of a heat sensor also for this heat sink and let's see this side's got some I don't know if you'll be able to see them you can probably see the screws though Wait a minute, I've got a light here maybe I can uh, it didn't help any did it well this has got the the big moss that's in it must be the AC side, maybe? I don't know. And this side's got the littler ones in. Looks like there's four of them for each of those transformers. Alright, well, I'm happy with what I see inside. Everything looks attached well, and I'm sure these. Yeah, they're fastened down good. Got them nice and tight. Nice thick brass bus there going to the outside. So, okay, I'm happy. So, uh, went to a yard sale today too. And I picked up a little 300 watt inverter, you know, just because you can't help yourself for five dollars or something so let me go see if I can find out and try it out I'll be right back I don't know what I did with it cut the cover back on her hooked her back up again I wanted to see uh, how high voltage I can go with this before it shuts down um, my other inverter boy when it got right to 15 volts it shut off and that was a problem because my PWM solar things when the battery got up that high they didn't shut down quick enough and the inverter would shut off and uh, I have the the controllers set up that way because I'm using the Edison batteries and they like a little bit higher voltage so um, I got a bulb in there and I'm going to turn my power supply voltage up. It's 12.6 now. there's 15, she's still running. 15.1, still running. 15.2, no good, still going. 15.3, still going. 15.4, oh, there she goes. Okay, so I'm turning her back down. And I turn it down to about 14 and it come back on. Okay, let's go the other way and see when it shuts down. Okay, back down to 12. 
eleven point eight seven six eleven five eleven three there's eleven ten nine ten eight ten seven ten six ten five and four. Oh, there she goes. Okay, see when it comes back on. There's twelve four. Twelve five. Twelve six it comes back on. So it's got a pretty wide range and being it goes over fifteen makes me happy, so now we can mess with the garage sale find. Okay, here's the garage sale inverter. 300 water. Highway man. Travel power. Yeah, 300 watts was, that's the only connection. I'm sure that's gonna handle 300 watts alright, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's hook it up see if it works. Okay, we got a green light. Power supply says we're drawing 0.35 amps. Yeah, let's plug in the old telescope and see how bad a square wave it makes. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> Uh, let's see, what do I want to mess with here? Hmm. As you can see, I don't know how to run a scope. I just turn the knobs until I get what I want. Apparently it wanders about some. So the 15 watt bulb on it is drawing 1.4 amps. It does work. I don't think my power supply will run this, but I think this is like a 75 watt or 100 watt bulb. Yep. Didn't like that. <laughs> my power supply didn't like it. Let's see. Might run a 40 watt one. Let me see if I can find one. There's a 40 watt appliance bulb, I think. I'll turn this 15 water off. Yeah, it'll run that. Didn't change the wave much, it's still wandering about. Hmm. Oh, yeah. no. Well, anyways, it works. You know, somebody wants to run a Solder and iron or some lights or something from your car be good for that. So for five dollars can't go wrong. So just a quick video with a bunch of nonsense. But if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And keep watching, and we'll get this baby hooked up so we can try it out a little better. So, we'll see you next time.